The new stars is off with 3.24.2 PTU passages dropped for wave one. Literally downloading it right now. And uh, let's just get straight into it. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for an LTI Argo Atlas. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of December. Let's get into the video. Before we get started, I'd like to give a big shout out to Shaw Wake for being the newest channel member. Thank you for supporting this channel. I really appreciate it. All right, guys. Um, this one is a, a pretty lengthy one, actually. They, they made a few new updates. All right, so let's just get straight into it. Features in gameplay under the gameplay category. Um, they made MFT button bindings. It says a lot of MFT button bindings were unlocked. Some are still hidden away while we work on stuff. Right now, you will find bindings for selecting which MFTs you want to cycle, change the display page of the of a selected MFT, and directly jump to a specific MFT page. The next one says options for persistent ship settings plus MFT page. It says ships and gun receipts have so-called persistent settings for things like IFCS decoupled, IFCS gravity compensation, etc., which can be set in the configuration MFT page. Those settings are persistently saved whenever you store your ship. However, when you spawn a new ship in Arena Commander, when you get got a replacement ship via insurance in the PU, those settings are lost because technically you have a new ship. 3.24.2 there introduces a new set of options for every persistent setting. When you as a player enter a ship seat for the first time, only the first time, the game will copy your options to the seat. From there onwards, things will be persistently saved again. So if you spawn a ship and your friend enters a seat, a ship seat for the first time before you do it, the ship will use the default settings from your friends instead once the default settings have been set by anyone they will not be automatically be changed anymore and need to be tweaked manually via the configuration of these interesting what's great about this is um the big one is especially the weapon grouping um allowing us to even to set our weapon groups and it persists when we're able to switch between nav mode and SEO mode is a game changer for me. So uh, really exciting stuff. The next one here says new weapon grouping system, MFT page. It says um, vehicle weapon seedings now come with a change grouping system and access to new weapon groups configuration MFT page. Instead of having two fire button, there is only one fire button, but up to four different groups for your guns. By default, weapons are fired with the left mouse button. You can iterate forward and backwards through your groups with the mouse wheel. Weapon groups contain both guns and non-gun like EMPs and QEDs. That is so good. That is awesome. Man, that's that's nice. Um, by default, all guns will be added to the fire group 1. And after the split out by energy, ballistic and distortion guns, uh, sorted by projectile speed players are able to edit all gun uh, weapon groups with the new weapon configuration with these for qed and emp devices custom and uneditable unedit weapon groups are created after the guns button bindings that will have been added it says fire group iterate to the next and previous weapon group no overflow you cannot switch from the last to the first so you have to Swing all the way back to the other side if you want to get back to the first. It, seems. it says short binding to directly access every weapon group separately. The next one here says position targeting and mining mode. It says uh, since position targeting is now available in almost all operator modes except salvage, following default key binding changes, it says toggle laser type is now on uh, left alt. Um, left mouse button nice i'm gonna have to try this to see how this thing works on a mining ship all right so next is uh star map info ui polish it says hovered marker info a panel to display condensed information about the marker hovered with the cursor the primary marker info panel will 
now display default information for only the selected marker which will mean the panel information will never erroneously change when trying to interact with the set route button it also says here disabled cursor showing on elevator panel uh, support non-focus kiosk mode now requires interaction mode to see cursor on an elevator panel once again this is nice um, but I think in the last build, I noticed that it was kind of broken. So hopefully it's fixed with this patch. Uh, next, it says under ships and vehicles, it says uh, the MISC uh, prospector MFT polish. It says remove the top two prospector display, uh, made improvements to mining mode and MFT materials. It says added grounding uh, effects for radar and mining HUD. It says uh, fixed extended info visibility based on mining and salvage modes um it says here updated vandal mft color palette to white to help with status readability balance heat or ballistic weapons has also been done under weapons and items it says the updated paar uh, recoil to smooth out uh, some jarring sections of the recoil tweaked oomph of the paar and neutralized NVTC four times to have similar benefits as the other four times optics. Man, where can I get myself a night vision optics to test out? I'm really curious to see. Is it still found in loot boxes only, or um, can I buy it in the store? Let me guys, let me know in the comments if you guys found it elsewhere. All right, um, tons of boxes for this one. Let's just get straight into it. It says they fixed an issue where salvage contract ships will have power. Uh, which prevents structural salvage. Um, they fix an issue where bed locking in uh, Stanton solar system uh, results in 30,009. It says reason is remote disconnecting cannot send the current solar system from send current solar system. Uh, they fix an issue where non pop up window opens when using the right uh, click on the inventory uh, interface. I did notice this, so good that they have this fix coming in. They fix an issue where you're unable to plot a route to obstructed destination. They fix an issue where players can attach commodity uh, cargo boxes to their own actor or others, slowing down their movement and increase the heart rate. They fix an issue where Blade is missing the MFDs. They fix an issue where the Carrick is missing internal elevator. They fix an issue where sometimes a ship will fly off the vehicle RTT on other cast and these what is rtt do you guys know let me know in the comments um they fix an issue where rear ramp of the cutter cannot be closed using the internal and external control panels they fix an issue where flight ready button will change into power on button and not work for the pilots if another player enters and remains in the co-pilot seat before the pilot does uh, they fix an issue where the remote turret is in any mode other than the manual turret will not properly follow the reticle. They fix an issue where the Cambio uh, SRT container results in receiving full filled containers. This is uh, important to crafting. Uh, they fix an issue where piercing sometimes cannot reset to none and may skip the option for slider they fix an issue where prison o2 kiosk percentage text is visible while kiosk displays the error they fix an issue where ground vehicles mfd power management um, screen does not show column ui they fix an issue where par is unable to reload they fix an issue where the a2 gunner seat still on the old ui mfds they fix an issue where Missing MFT casting in Arena Commander. Along with this is five client crashes and nine server crash fixes. We also have a few updates for Arena Commander. It says here the Arena Commander front end menu has had its visual overhaul with new and updated 3D hangar and interface menus. Alongside this uh, visual upgrade, we have made several quality of life improvements and features additions from remember my selection for mode selection to a force launch feature really interesting stuff um before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industry is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one